the Chiefs are trading up with the San Francisco 49ers one spot <laughs> to go get their tackle. San Francisco 49ers have traded a 63 pick to the Kansas City Chiefs. With the 63 pick in the 24 in the 24 draft, Kansas City select Kingsley Suomata. Kingsley Suomataia is a Kansas City Chief. <laughs> Yes! As we spoke about ad nauseum, uh, Andy gets a BYU tackle to come in and compete. Probably on the left. Could be anywhere. And I got to think that this is because when somebody took Rosengarten, they didn't have a choice. They couldn't let the Niners take the last guy on their board at this level. I think this is a good pick. Certainly in being able to stick at 64 and pull this off. I'm I'm ecstatic that they were able to do that, Dan. Tell me, tell me what you got. This could not have gone better for me right now. I have a lot had a lot of faith in them. If needed to take him at 32, that was possible. Um, you know, I already did the film room on him too. So you guys can go watch Kingsley <laughs> breakdown on YouTube after this is over. See what he's gonna bring. This is, I do believe he's gonna be your starting left tackle. I really believe it. And the Chiefs don't trade up if they don't think he's not at least going to compete at tackle. Because you don't yeah. take him in on the second round if you don't think he's going to at least give you something. Um, So Agreed. I love this. Both guys that we have been very high on this draft process for the Chiefs and uh, Xavier Worthy and Kingsley Soamataia now are in Kansas City. And I am ecstatic. Yeah, I'm, I'm pumped because... He's not a finished product by any means. And no. while he he didn't have the greatest senior bowl, we both came away from there feeling like this is a guy who can fit the system. And the system is what it comes down to. He'll get in here. He will compete with Wanye immediately. It doesn't necessarily preclude signing a veteran because you know Brett Veach wants to do that, and Andy probably does too. But this tells me you have three guys that are youthful. Kingsley's a better athlete than Wanye. And I think this allows you to keep Juwan at the right hand side. Yep. Oh man, this is again, this is really good. Oh, this is really good. And I know we're a little bit behind, but that's what this is for, right? We do this together. Like we do, we always do this together for you guys. So this is very this is a fun draft. We did call it. We had Kingsley Soa Mataia here, and we knew the Chiefs were gonna pretty much take him in the second round. It had to be him at this point. So one and two rounds one and two i don't know if could have gone much better for me personally and watching who the chiefs drafted what about you yeah no i, I i'm on it uh, would there have been another tackle that i liked better in the second no uh this was yeah. once tyler guyton went after the chiefs moved up to get worthy perfectly understandable this was the guy that was the best fit that we both felt. I was not comfortable with Paul, even though Paul did end up going above him. I would not have been comfortable with him in this range because I don't think he has the total upside. So I'm very happy. And so why would they do this? And now okay. we're back. I know it's a lot of people. I've seen a lot of people asking why trade up one spot. It's the same reason you trade up to get Xavier Worthy, even if you don't you don't know who's going to be there. You go get the guy you want. San Francisco very well could have been shopping that pick too. How many trades did we see for people coming up to get players? A tackle just went off the board. He was the last guy in their pocket. He was. Remember, Brett Veach talked about pockets. Kingsley was the last guy in that pocket. He absolutely was. From there, it drops off. And they did not want to be left out. You move up one spot yep. to guarantee that you're going to get your guy. Because San Francisco, again, could have traded to somebody else looking to come up to get a get to get a tackle that's the big thing here yeah that that's the fear and i think that's what happened last night as well it's not that they that they were just driving a hard bargain in buffalo or that the san francisco 49ers were like hey we have to get a pick from you it was someone else has interest a third party that wants to come get what you want and you got to wall them off that's the way to get it done i think this is a great fit I will pull up his matrix. Oh, if I can get it shared because I don't have that here right now. Um, and we will get that on the, the board and I will put out his specific profile tomorrow. But what you get from Sumati is pretty straightforward. You get length, you get decent power, you get decent move. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, mobility. He can get out 
and get in space. I think better than Wanye on the screens myself. Does he play high? Yeah. Yes. Does he lunge at times? Yes. A lot of things to clean up. But given the two, where they're starting at, I would put Kingsley ahead of where Wanye was this time last year. I think Zero you agree questions. with that, right? Okay. Zero questions. So at the worst case, what you've done is solidify yourself a swing tackle that when someone gets hurt, because we know the Chiefs will have some injuries at tackle, that you have a viable candidate to come in just like Wanye was last year for what was going on. I, I think this solidifies them, and the three-peat is squarely in the target. Yep. That's his, this is what you had to do on your offensive side, right? You, you went younger on the defensive side. And then this year, you take two 20-year-olds. If I'm not mistaken, Kingsley is also 20 years old. He is a very young player. He was a redshirt sophomore, okay? This is not... This is not this is excuse me. This is exactly what the Chiefs were doing with their defense. You get younger, you get upside, and then you, if you want to, you can have them sit at times. It would again, it wouldn't shock me to see them bring back some of their bring in a veteran and let them grow. It's not a bad thing to let pit players grow, guys. It really isn't. So if Kingsley isn't the starter at left tackle, which I at this point I'm going to pencil him in myself as the starter because I believe he's going to outplay anybody else there that they have currently on the roster. Um, so he may have just turned 21. So yeah, he, he turned 21 in January. So yeah, he's, he's still young. Like th this is, this is a great opportunity for them to get better and stay young. And I gotta, I gotta love the tweet here from Patrick Mahomes. Just real simple shades on. I love Veach, man. <laughs> <laughs> So they get it done. They make the quarterback happy. Right after this, Renardo Green goes to the Niners. So the Niners were an interesting yep. tackle. Obviously, we were able to work that out. Uh, Green, another guy that long, tall, aggressive. Would have been a good fit in Kansas City, too. But I didn't, I didn't expect him to last quite as long as I had hoped. <laughs> I think if we don't have another pick tonight, if they don't trade back in, because right now, folks, Kansas City Chiefs are done for tonight. If they don't come back in, I still feel like day one and two was successful because the top two things that they had to do that we've had on the board as the top two priorities all offseason have been checkboxed. That's all you got to do, man. Like, that's it. This is – you come in, again, with two real legitimate needs. You, you fill them. And if that – even if that's – like you said, if that's only what they do on the days one and two – I can't be mad at that. I really can't be mad at it. And I don't know if anyone can really truly be frustrated with it either. They're going to improve this team. And we talked about it. Who was left on the board that improves them? Kingsley improves them. He just does. Yep. That is absolutely true. I hope you're doing well. My wife said uh, nobody trying to trade with KC tonight. You're right. Um, they're getting, again, that was what, a 30, was it a 30? move back uh in order to move up again one spot about four i would say about 40 from fifth to sixth round 40, but okay. ish, yeah. trying to pull up the data obviously i'm lagging pretty bad again so uh apologies no you're good um rev thank you for the five my wife said nobody's trying to trade with the chiefs tonight well they did they did the, the 49ers, much less let the Chiefs come up and get their guys. So uh, we see the, the Bills do it yesterday, and the 49ers let them do it today, which is always fantastic to see when you beat both teams to win a Super Bowl. That they're just like, yeah, here you go. It's only a few picks. At the end, today is much different than yesterday because the difference between four picks on day one is still, I think, fairly tight. You got a lot of top 50 picks that are available there, right? When you get down to this range, it is it has mushroomed out and just diversified based on scheme and need. And it's a much different scenario when you're on the clock at this point. 